Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Renee Delane. Please hit the subscribe button before you go and leave me a comment in the box down below. So today's video will be a little bit different from my usual videos. Usually it's a video giving you information and how to do something, so how to become a nurse or what you need to think about before you go into nursing. But today I thought I will talk to you about my journey into becoming a nurse and what I do now. So if you're new here and you've not seen my previous videos, I trained as a adult nurse at the University of Greenwich in London. Um, I think university was one of the most difficult, but also it was somewhere where I learned most of my skills. So I trained as an adult nurse. I did my placement across different settings. So I mainly completed my um, practicals on surgical wards. And so when I qualified as a nurse, I knew that I wanted to work in the hospital to get my um, experiences and skill mix. So when I qualified and got registered onto the NMC registered, that was one of the best day of my life. And I felt like a pressure just lifted off my shoulders and I could now call myself a nurse. So um, I remember for my first job, I applied to work in the hospital because I had done most of my placement within the surgical ward and so I wanted to continue that journey on the surgical ward and unbeknown to me the job that I applied for was actually on a urology ward. I've never worked in urology prior to qualifying as a nurse and so when I found out that the job being offered to me was on a urology ward I was <laughs> you know Beside myself, I was second guessing. I was like, I can't do this. I've never worked in this department before. But you know, as they say, they all know that you're newly qualified and they're not expecting you to know it all. So yes, my first job was as a urology nurse and I actually ended up liking it. I actually ended up liking working in the urology department because I developed so many skill sets that I till this day feel that you know it's helped me to become a better nurse. So I worked in urology for a couple of years and then I fell pregnant with my daughter. And so I had to make a decision at that point about my work-life balance because doing shift work means that you don't get to spend as much time with your family and for me family was very important and still is important so I had to make a decision for myself and my daughter and I decided that I was going to leave my job on the ward doing 12 hour shifts and I moved into community nursing so community nursing was something that I never thought about whilst um, doing my training but it was something that I had to think about when I had my daughter and so I applied to become a community nurse so I was going from house to house looking after patients and again I feel like this role gave me some uh, you know autonomy so I was working on my own I was making decisions on my own although you know I had that senior person that I could call on but I felt very much that I was using my skills that I gained from the hospital and these helped me to develop to become a better nurse so I worked as a community nurse for a couple of years and then I decided to relocate so I know, I know, I'm changing jobs. So I love community nursing and, you know, it's something that I wish that I could have carried on doing. But when I relocated where I uh, moved to, the community nurses, they start very early, I think 7am in the morning. And so I decided that I couldn't continue doing community nursing because 
I didn't have anybody to help me with childcare and there were, you know, minimal childcare provisions before 7 a.m. And I needed to be at work for 7 a.m. So I would need to leave my daughter somewhere at 6.30 a.m. in the morning. So I then decided that community nursing was something that I needed to give up again you know having that work-life balance so I then decided to go into private health care so private health care was very attractive because of the money so the wages that you get in private health care is uh, better <laughs> better than what you get on the NHS so when I went into uh, private healthcare, I became a band six. So the role that I applied for was a band six role. And so I did my uh, hospital and my community nursing as a band five. And then when I applied for the private healthcare role, that was a band six. So I worked in that role for quite a while and I then became the clinical lead in that department which I did for a while still missing community nursing because you know this was my baby like this is my heart this is what I enjoy doing the most and it was just that time that one-to-one -one time you get with your patients and when I was on the ward I felt like you know you didn't get enough time to communicate and talk to people and meet their needs as much as i wanted to because it was super busy and so when i moved into community nursing i saw a whole different side to you know how you can give more care i think you're still rushed and it's still busy but you do get to know your patients a bit better so yeah so i took the role as a band six and um i soon became the clinical lead but i did not enjoy that role very much so i decided that i wanted to look for something else and where i live is a very small area so jobs for nurses are not very uh you know there, there's not a lot of jobs so there's very few and far in between so at the time when i was looking there were mainly just nhs jobs and so i thought you know what best way to get back into the nhs you know change roles i um the pension that you get on the nhs is very good and factors such as the job was a nine to five really appealed to me so the fact that i would be getting a good pension and I will be able to work nine to five in this role really appealed to me and so I applied for this job on the NHS. What I do now is a triage nurse and what that does is very much back office so I'm not so very hands-on or face-to-face -face with patients anymore. I am more uh, in the back <laughs> if, if you want to call it that and so I am still managing patient care alongside GPs but it's mainly in electronic form so um, with this role I feel like my practical skills as a nurse has diminished a little bit because I'm not as hands-on as I used to be I think sometimes i do miss being hands-on but other times i think about the stress of it the back pain that i was having you know doing stuff like moving and handling patients bending to do their wound care and stuff like that so essentially i am quite happy that i have chosen to move away from the face-to-face hands-on element of nursing but i do still miss it but um it works for me now nine to five as a nurse works for me now and i still get to use my skills um i think i'm mainly using more of my knowledge that i've gained along the way now more so but i feel like i'm still contributing to patients care and how they manage and i'm still advocating for them so you know essentially 
I might move back into hands-on nursing but I don't know when that is guys um you know my daughter is still very young and I am practically making decisions based off what will give me the best work-life balance so I just wanted to share with you guys my journey as a nurse and how I became a nurse and what I'm doing now and so that you guys can get to know me a bit better but yeah that was it really like this video subscribe leave me a comment down below and i'll see you in the next informative video until next time bye